Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to practice the integers data types that we saw in the previous videos. So let's go to IntelliJ and get started. So I'm still in the same project and first of all we're going to initialize some variables. The first one is a byte. So let's call it b1 and set it equal to 5 for example. Then we're going to create a short. Let's call it s1 and it will be equal to 20. Okay? This number can be anything. What's important is that it should be inside the interval of the values of the data type that you are using. Alright? Now let's create an integer. Let's call it i1 and equal to 100 for example. And finally we're going to create a long. Let's call it l1 and set it equal to 999. Alright? Now pay attention over here. Java sees this number as an integer. It doesn't see it as a long. But because this number is inside the interval of values of an integer, we have no problem. Let me explain. Let's increase this number for something like this. And now as you can see we have an error. It's saying that the integer number is too large. So this number exceeds the maximum value of an integer. So Java is saying that this is an integer but it doesn't fit inside the interval of values. So in this case we have to tell Java that this is a long. So whenever I put the letter L as you can see the problem is solved. So now this is a long and we are storing it inside a long. From a little bit we had a number like this right? So this is an integer and it is inside the interval of values so we have no problem. And as you can see we are storing it inside a long. And since a long is larger than an integer, Java have no problem and it stores this integer inside this long. Okay? So whenever a number is inside the interval of values of an integer, we can use it like this without putting the letter L. But if it exceeds the bounds, we have to put L. And of course, we can put L over here. So now Java knows that this is a long and we are storing it inside a long, right? Now let's print some values. So I'm going to say s out b1, s out s1, also s out i1, and finally s out l1, right? And here is our output. So we can see the values printed. Perfect. Now let's do some arithmetic operations. Suppose that I want to print b1 minus i1, also s1 minus b1, and finally i1 minus l1. And I will remove this statement from over here. So run the program and this is our output. These expressions are calculated and then the value is printed. And as I said before, we are only using the values of our variables. We are not modifying our variables, alright? So for example, after these statements, I'm going to print i1 and also I'm going to print l1. So press shift and f10 and here is our output. As you can see, i1 is still equal to 100 and L1 is still equal to 999. So the values inside our variables were not changed. Now suppose that I want to change the value of a variable. So simply, I can use the assignment operator. So for example, I will set L1 to be equal to I1, right? So over here, I'm putting an integer inside a long. And I1 in this case is equal to 100, right? And also, because a long can store an integer, we don't have an error over here. So let's run the program. And as you can see, this is i1 and now this is l1. So we changed the value of our variable. So now let me remove this code from over here. Now as you know, the minimum value of a byte is minus 128, right? And the maximum value is 127. So I'm going to store minus 128 in this byte. And as you can see, we have no problem. Let's run the program. And as you can see, we have no problems in the output of our program. Now let's try to exceed the interval. For example, I'm going to put minus 129. And now immediately we have an error. The required type is a byte, but we found an integer. So what does this mean? On the left side of the assignment operator, we have a byte variable. So on the right side, we should also have a byte value. This is why we have required byte. So we should have a byte over here. But in this case, we have an integer. We don't have a byte. Because this value exceeds the interval of a byte. So Java will consider this an integer, okay? So for example, if I change this to be an integer, we don't have a problem. And also, if we use a short over here, we don't have a problem. Because this value can be stored inside a short. And also the same will happen if we use a long. So what's important is that this value should be inside the interval of values of the data type that you are using, right? So this is it. What I want you to do is to practice the byte, short, int, and long data types. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.